Good morning, everybody. Hello and welcome to an early ride today. We are out before the sun is even up in an effort to try and sneak one more ride in before the real intense summer heat hits. The high for today is a cool 107, but we should be able to get at least a few decent hours in before then. We should be out at the staging area in just a little bit where we'll have some more info on what we're planning on seeing today and a little more about this new trail we are checking out. Okay, so we have made it to our staging spot here, just a few miles west of Wickenburg. We wanted to do something relatively close to home and opted for this trail today. The trail heads north from Highway 60 across predominantly state trust land, and eventually the trail will turn to the east and hit a couple of old historic sites, including the site of a stagecoach robbery, which has been called the Wickenburg Massacre site. We are getting things ready to go on the ATVs before we head out. Should be a shorter ride today. The total trail is only about 15 miles. So we will be running out, checking out a few stops before loading things back up and heading home, hopefully before it gets real hot. It looks like we are ready to roll out on our last ATV ride for the summer. So our next update will be from down the trail a little ways. We have made it about five miles down the trail now and we have arrived at this old ranch. Up until this point, the trail has been surprisingly smooth and fast moving. It was pretty dusty with a few bumps here and there, but overall very easy going so far. As you can see, the ranch site here has a lot going on. Based on the amount of fresh cow poop on the ground, the tanks full of water and the active pump that is running it is fair to say that this site is probably still used by local ranchers. The buildings are certainly not in usable shape today, but could have been used as recently as the last couple of decades. There are multiple collapsed buildings around the property. The first building appears to be some kind of old shed or outbuilding, workshop kind of thing. And then there is the main building which looks to be the remains of a house. There was definitely a porch underneath all of these collapsed walls and it actually looks like a few dishes and remnants survived the overall demise of the property. Out back of the ranch house is of course an outhouse. It looks like it may have been a two-seater but thankfully it looks like no one has used it too recently. Out on the edges of the property are multiple corrals. They're standing, however it doesn't seem like they are used anymore. The entire property has certainly seen better days, but it is apparently still being used to some degree. Either way, this is a neat stop on the trail and gives us something to stop and stretch our legs at. The massacre site from here is just a few more miles down the trail, so we are going to get back on the ATVs and we should be there soon. All right, we have made it to the massacre site about seven miles from where we started. This spot is rumored to be the site of a stagecoach attack and ambush, which took place at about eight in the morning on November 5th, 1871. The coach involved in the attack left Wickenburg about an hour before the massacre and traveled west through the washes and route to Ehrenberg on the Colorado River and eventually over to San Bernardino, California. The stagecoach and route was owned and operated by the Arizona Stagecoach Company and had eight souls on board. The group of passengers was fairly well-rounded and included a cartographer, reporter, and a woman named Molly Shepard. As the stage approached this area and was about to re-enter the wash, they were attacked from the small hill on the left. 
The lead horses were taken out as the passengers were essentially left as sitting ducks. About 10 to 15 attackers ambushed the stage, killing most of the passengers and the driver in the volley of gunfire. Two passengers, including Shepard, were able to escape alive as the attackers retreated following some return fire. The identity of the attackers remains controversial to this day. The evidence suggests that it was Yavapai warriors, or at least someone dressed to look like them, that attacked the stagecoach in retaliation. This was a turbulent time in a turbulent area, and really, any group of individuals could be responsible for the attack. The site today has been upkept by a local club out of Wickenburg, and has numerous marked grave sites with informational signs scattered around. The bodies were rumored to have been buried where they fell. Additional religious artifacts added more recently adorned the site as well. Now it should be noted that there is a lot of uncertainty and rumors about the actual description and site of the attack as well as the final location of the bodies. However, there is no arguing that a stagecoach attack happened about 8 miles somewhere here in the desert west of Wickenburg. There is evidence of wheel tracks through the desert along this stagecoach route, and this area with its hills and blind curves just outside of town makes for a prime ambush spot. Where the bodies ended up after the attack and who attacked the stage will remain a mystery. Nevertheless, it was interesting to come out here to the site, or at least to the area nearby where it happened, and imagine what stagecoach passengers would have had to go through in this desolate area. However, it was starting to get hot, and it was time to keep moving down the trail. We returned back to the ranch we passed through earlier, but took a quick detour to check out another trail. A little while later we ended up in a large wash, parked in the shade underneath a railroad bridge. We took this rare opportunity in the shade to grab some cold water and cool down for a bit. Of course, it wasn't long and we had some company. Shortly after the train, it was starting to get really hot, so we opted to start the short trek back to the staging area. The trip back to the trailer flew by. The ride back was nice and smooth, with some nice views of the sparsely populated desert surrounding us. It was about 10.30 when we loaded up the ATVs and got ready to hit the road. Overall, this was a short but very easy trail. The 15 miles to the massacre site and back is easy enough for two-wheel drive with decently moderate clearance. We had a fun ride today, just getting out and checking out a few historic sites before the weather got too hot here outside of Wickenburg. Once we got back home, we cleaned up the ATVs and got them prepped and ready to sit until the weather cooled back down. It was nice to get out, even just for a little bit, for one more ride before taking a couple of month hiatus from the ATV rides. Thanks for watching this ride video, and we'll see you on an upcoming adventure in two weeks.